दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर बाय आव्या क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल रेज योर डाउट एंड वॉच द वीडियो फॉर श्योर सक्सेस इन जे एम सन नीट अबाउट फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस सो वॉट इज फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस सपोज डैट वन ऑब्जर्वर इज सिटिंग इन द बस वन ऑब्जर्वर इज सिटिंग इन द बस and the bus was initially at rest so u is equal to g observer is situated and bus and make its observation and in this case the observer is in rest now suppose that the bus started moving with a constant velocity v so bus as the bus is moving is a constant velocity and observer is still making some observation so both cases are different in first case observer was in rest and other case it is moving with a constant velocity now we say see this is our case 2 now we say case third when observer when the bus have some finite acceleration that is a is not equal to 0 acceleration is not equal to 0 and then it makes some observation also a kind of frame of reference so so basically frame of reference is the frame in which an observer sits and make some observation so what is the this component what is what are the components of frame of reference so first it comprises three dimensional coordinate system and a clock to measure the position time and event happening in the space so i will just give one idea about it suppose that an object is placed at this suppose an object is placed here we call it this object is placed there and there are four persons who are standing north south east and west of it and one person this person we call it a b c d so a says that and all distance are 5 meters let's say that all are situated 5 meter from this object so a says that the object is 5 meter east of it b says that the object is 5 meter south of it while c says the object is 5 meter west of it so and d says that the object is 5 meter north of it although all four are correct statement made by the statement made by all four are different although the four, all four are correct to ascertain the position of any object we need a three dimensional coordinate system with reference to which we calculate the position of the object so for this we consider a three dimensional coordinate system and this is called as x coordinate system y coordinate system and z coordinate system again we will Uh, place a clock also to measure the uh, time of event happening in the space so if the object is at this place so this is the position of object from this coordinate system the intersection of all these three coordinate axes is called as origin so basically all physical quantities like position velocity acceleration etc of an object are described in respect to the frame of reference and for frame of the reference we have we should have three coordinate axes and one clock now the, this frame of reference is of two types first is inertial frame of reference and non inertial frame of reference so what is this inertial frame of reference so inertial frame of reference a frame of reference which is at rest or moving with uniform velocity along a straight line is called as inertial uh, inertial frame of reference so acceleration is zero in the inertial frame of reference so the frame of reference is rest or moving with uniform velocity like in in our case when when the object is in rest and make a uh, some calculations some of ob observation or moving with uniform velocity then it is called as a inertial frame of reference in this frame of reference acceleration is zero so a is equal to zero again second point is that in inertial frame of reference newton law of motion holds good and uh, means new newton law of motion is correct third point is that inertial frame of reference is also called unaccelerated frame of reference or newtonian or galilean frame of reference and d ideally no inertial frame exists in the universe this is a very important concept that there is no inertial frame exists in the universe 
for all particular purpose a frame of reference may be considered as uh, inertial if its acceleration is negligible with respect to acceleration of object to be observed so if the acceleration of a uh, the frame of reference is very small or negligible when with respect to acceleration of object to be observed like if we consider the falling of apple so it is written here if we consider the falling of, of apple then then apple falls with a acceleration g which is equal to 9.8 meter per second square however if you see that earth is also not rest or moving with constant velocity it it is also moving with some acceleration earth is also moving with some acceleration but this acceleration is small in comparison to the acceleration due to gravity g and because of that we consider earth shell frame so for inertial frame the acceleration of frame should be negligible with respect to acceleration of object to be observed second is to observe the motion of planet so if we observe the motion of planet so in that case earth cannot be considered at inertial frame but we may assume sun as a inertial frame so there are some examples of uh, some examples of day to day life of inertial frame like the lift is at rest lift is moving up or down with constant velocity car with rest or moving with constant velocity on a straight road so these are the inertial frames now we will learn non inertial frame of reference so what is non inertial frame of reference any accelerated frame of reference are called non inertial frame of reference newton's law of motion are not applicable in non inertial frame of reference like for non inertial frame of reference a must not be equal to 0 or a frame is a comparison com comparable to a object which we want to study and because of this newton law of motion are not applicable so no newton law of motion example car moving with un car moving in uniform circular motion it's or lift which is moving upward or downward with some acceleration plane is taking off all these are example of non inertial frame of reference